Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be discussing how you can take any person and turn it into a Minecraft character from within Photoshop. Now what is it that I mean exactly when I refer to a Minecraft character? Well, there's two real traits to every creature or person in Minecraft. One is that they are incredibly blocky. In fact, to my knowledge, almost every single thing inside of Minecraft is some kind of square. The other component is that our character should be low res and pixelated by the end. As you know, Minecraft is a low resolution game. The characters inside of it don't look particularly great, but that's partially a stylistic choice as well. So the effect we're going to be using is called patchwork, and in order for this to work properly, I need to remove the extra information from the background. This is obviously because, presumably, we only want to pixelate the character. We're not trying to pixelate a background as well. So by isolating him, we can achieve that. So I'm going to speed through the rest of those steps because that's not the main focus of this video. I like to use a combination of the eraser tool, lasso, and sometimes the rectangular marquee tool in order to do this. Moving on, I went ahead and brought in a background image that we can put our character in. It's up to you if you want to do this. It's just to kind of illustrate how this character is going to be pixelated in the background will stay fine. So to get to the pixelated effect, you go to Filter and then Filter Gallery. It will be under the Texture section or folder of the Filter Gallery. And from here we can see a preview of how it's going to apply to our layer. You can see that by increasing the square size, we can get closer and closer to that blocky effect that we're looking for. However, certainly worth mentioning here is that it only goes up to 10. So what do we do? That's not nearly blocky enough, right? Well, my trick is to actually shrink the original image that we're trying to pixelate. So go ahead and undo the pixelate effect and then transform the layer so that it's smaller. Now when we reapply the patchwork effect, it's going to appear much more blocky. The blocks haven't become larger, but our image that we're trying to apply it to now has a lot more condensed information. From here, we can get it right back to the original size, but with this blocky effect, simply by rescaling it up. Now, naturally, you can get a lot more dramatic with this effect to get closer to that Minecraft look. And you do have to be careful. You can see here that this guy is kind of missing his eyes, and that's because the, the original image wasn't front facing, so it wasn't exactly ideal for capturing those eye sockets. But let's go ahead and retry this with another character. This guy is front facing. I've already removed the background, so we just go up to the filter gallery, find the patchwork effect, and we can see in the preview window, it's already going to pretty much apply just fine there. The eyes are going to be a lot more visible, but in order to get it like the other guy, we have to shrink it down, try the effect one more time, scale him back up, and we have a pretty good result. So that's all for this tutorial on the patchwork effect, and until my next video, I'll see you.